Hey everyone, welcome to the Nintendo Prime Studio Tour. And I want to thank a special sponsor of this video, FlexiSpot. As you're going to see in a moment, they actually provided something very important to the setup here. But before we do that, let's just take a look around. First off, you got this nice little wall behind me. It doesn't really mean much. There's going to be something that goes there someday, but you know, we're just kind of keeping things, I don't know, open to new ideas. Uh, over here, you'll see our other set. Uh, we just used this for an unboxing. It's got the Nintendo Prime Neon sign, the Game Boy uh, thing as well. And honestly, we just used this. We're going to bring it back for more news videos, multi-story videos in the future. We're just waiting on a new wireless microphone setup uh, so it can actually sound really good over here. We want to keep the sound quality on our videos as good as we can. If you watch the unboxing video, <laughs> you'll know it really wasn't that great. And that's why we're not using this set that much right now. But anyways, as we walk on over to the other part of the studio, you see it, we've got a table over here. This just has some random accessories, some extra lights. Right now it's got the Switch OLED that we're giving away. Nice reminder that we are giving away a Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Nintendo Switch OLED. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we're also giving away a collector's edition, a pin. I don't know, a bunch of stuff that's over there. And we have like our labeler and some quick tools, just things that I use on the daily that I want quick access to. And then we have our shelf system over there. All right, on the top row, we just have accessories for our microphones, extra stands, extra cables, uh, some cable run things because we use cable run things randomly and our batteries that we use for our audio equipment. On our next shelf here in the corner, uh, this is just some random bits and bobbles. We have some cable management stuff there. Uh, we have cleaning supplies as well and a little bit of glue and stuff. You know, things get broken around here. So sometimes we got to glue some stuff together. On the next shelf, this is sort of where we keep, um, well, a, a little collection of games. And then you'll see a couple extra lenses for our camera. And then on the left is drink packages. So if I want to get a quick boost, I can just throw those in a water bottle quick. And then on our next shelf is, again, more cleaning supplies. Uh, we also have a 4K capture card there that we currently can't use, some extra tripods, uh, and some extra accessories for the Rodecaster. And then the very bottom shelf, this is just like shipping stuff. So like when we ship away giveaways and stuff, or have to ship things back to advertisers, uh, we got some stuff down there for that, labels and tape, and then we got more cable runs. And then we just got some equipment sliders because we don't want to ruin the floor in here. So if we have to ever move anything heavy, uh, we'll just get the sliders out for that. So uh, as we move on to that, we got a whiteboard. Uh, this whiteboard is where I pretty much keep things organized. So the to do is typically anything that I'm required to do contractually. You'll see I got a number of uh, sponsored stuff there to handle. Uh, you'll see video ideas. Right now there's only one left on the board because I've used up a lot of them. Uh, this is where I also put on everyone who's going to be on future podcast episodes. Uh, any meetings I have, and then any sponsorships that are, I'm already done with, and I'm just awaiting payment, so I remember to pester those people for payments and figure out when that's coming. Uh, and then, if we come over here, we have the battle station. This is where we do all the magic, for the most part, after we're done recording. So this is where our Mac Studio runs into a 49-inch ultra-wide Samsung Odyssey uh, QLED display. It's actually a 1440p, but it only runs at 1080p, just some Apple shenanigans there for now. But uh, yep, you, you see everything we have here. We got our Amazon Alexa there on the left. Uh, that's just so I can play some quick music at a glance and stuff like that, check on a few things, check the security cameras in the house without having to log in on a website or anything. Uh, and yeah, so where we do all the video editing and all the managing of pretty much everything. This is not the FlexiSpot desk to point out uh, because we needed that for something else. And we're going to get over to our next set here. So this is where we do uh, pretty much all the recording and live streams. Uh, we have our high quality microphones here, the Electrovoice RE20s. I'll put links to some of this equipment down in the description if you're interested in. The Rodecaster Pro 2, we got a Stream Deck. Uh, XL here, which is where we do all our scene changes, some of our music. We have some sound effects here. You can see a little bit on the labels. Maybe we'll get a shot of that later to show you guys how we labeled the Rodecaster. Couple laptops here, nothing special, uh, except this laptop can actually run everything, barely, if the, if the main computer goes down, which the main computer is actually sitting right over here on set. And that is the Mac Studio. Uh, it is the fully upgraded model that's almost maxed out on everything but storage. It only has two terabytes of storage with a USB hub connected to it. And the reason it's over here is pretty much everything we need with the studio is over here, except for the monitors. So it just made sense to put the computer over here instead of over at the editing bay. Uh, and then we have our camera here, which is the Lumex G9. Uh, this is what we record most of our on-camera stuff with. 
And yeah, well, we're not doing that using that camera for this because we need to show off the Flexi Spot desk. This is it right here. This is the Flexi Spot Pro Plus Standing Desk E7. And you know, let's show off a little bit of what this thing can do. So right now this is in the sitting position, which you see during some of my live streams, but also it does other things. Like if we press this button here, it will go into a standing position that I've actually set using the memory here with your standard arrows up and down. So let's keep going to where we like to stand. So if I was in the middle of a live stream, it might look something like this. Hey everyone, welcome to Nintendo Prime. Are you ready to have a great time? And then over here we would just do our thing. This can keep me active, keep me moving during a stream or during a video shoot. Uh, so I really like having this option. Not something we always use. As you see, we have a dual monitor setup. So if we're playing a game, typically we got to go down because we need both monitors. But uh, if I'm not and I only need the one monitor, it is nice to kind of stand up and be free, burn some extra calories, and just try to be healthy. I, you guys notice I need to lose some weight, right? So it's nice to be on a bit of a health kick here. So uh, thank you so much for FlexiSpot for this. It is one of the best standing desks that I've ever experienced, and it can hold up to 355 pounds. Man, that's a lot. And man, it's super stable. Like, look at this. I really reefing on it to get it to wobble at all. So like, this is honestly, thank you so much, FlexiSpot. This is awesome. There are links down in the description if you would like to uh, get your hands on one of these. So the FlexiSpot comes with a 30-day risk-free return policy and a 15-year warranty. And I truly recommend that you give it a try. And remember, this is the best standing desk that I've ever used. And, you know, you could just go directly to FlexiSpot E7, which is the brand of this desk and the brand of the lift that it's using. You know, go down to the description and... Also, FlexiSpot gave us a few accessories to go along with this. It's been really useful here. We got the metal pegboard here attached to the side of the desk. As you can see, we used one of the shelves that it came with to hold the Nintendo Switch. Uh, so that is literally hooked right into the setup to live stream. Good to go. Uh, above that, we have some hooks that we're not really using as hooks. I'm just using it to hold another Tears of the Kingdom item. We're not going to talk about that today. Uh, it also came with something that I hang my headphones off of, which you could pretty much hang anything off those if you want, but we chose headphones. And there's a few other accessories that we're not quite using yet. Of course, along the backside, we are using what it came with, a sort of holder of sorts. Uh, we just put odd, odd things in there like pencils and pens and Scissors, so we have quick access anytime, anytime that we need it. We just put it on the back side because honestly, you know, the shot of it on the front side on camera doesn't really look that great, but it's still a really useful thing to have. So they also sent us some cable management stuff. So this is the cable management kit. Uh, we've used a lot of the things in here. You got zip ties, you got some other uh, straps and some labels you could put in with your straps. Uh, and then we actually went ahead and cable managed everything to this desk. I might not look the greatest, uh, you know, you're just glancing at it, but the, our goal was to keep the cables off the floor because this is a sit to stand desk. Uh, so everything is attached on the bottom. And, you know, again, <laughs> this isn't their fault. We just have a lot of cables. I don't know that they realized that we were going to use this thing for this set. Also, one convenient thing they sent us is this power strip here that attaches directly to the desk. You get four power slots on the top with some USB ports as well. Uh, we do use this, one of the monitors is plugged into it, and then it's just there for any quick access if we need to plug anything in quick for testing reasons, uh, you know, for unboxing something or we're doing something on live streams and we're like, hey, does this thing work? Let's plug it in quick and find out. So yeah, again, it might not look the cleanest in the world. That's not FlexiSpot's problem. We have way too many things hooked up on this. I don't know that they thought that this was the video they were getting from us, but this is the video they got. Oh, by the way, this FlexiSpot desk has a dual motor as well. So it's one of the cheapest options on the market for a dual motor system. Now, let's put it back down in the sitting position here. We already have a preset. Should note it comes with a USB charging port as well if you want to charge your phone off it, but I have a different setup for that. Comes all the way down. We pull our chair in. And we're right off to business. Didn't have to do any additional adjustments. It's just all ready to go right here. All right, and then obviously, you know, what is a set if there isn't a background behind it? We have an 85 inch, oh man, this is this is a mini LED special edition. It's supposed to be a little bit anti-glare. Obviously you see some glare, the glare is way, way worse on other TVs. It's on a fully adjustable mount. We could pull that TV out and pretty much smack us in the heads sitting where the chairs are right now. That's how far that TV mount comes out. So we could auto adjust it 
for pretty much any need that we have. We have our PlayStation 5 and our Xbox Series hooked up to it. The Switch is not hooked up to it because usually if I'm playing Switch, I'm live streaming it, and then that ends up on the monitor that we have attached to the FlexiSpot desk. Behind that, you'll see some cheap light panels we got off Amazon. These are not like your expensive things. I think we spent 20 bucks a pack on these. They were super cheap, but they work really well and they look good on camera. We got our mini fridge down in the corner. That's what you see Eric sometimes during podcasts reaching for to get drinks and stuff like that. Um, and then just some gaming, you know, gear back there, a Hylian Shield and some other some other oddballs, some Xbox sign, etc., etc., etc. Also, we tend to end up watching a lot of sports in here just to get away from the kids because we can lock the door because this is an in-home studio. And that's going to do it basically for the studio tour here at Nintendo Prime Studios. It's a pretty big room, but uh, who knows? It could get expanded into the room next door someday if we end up adding more staff members on. We also have a back storage area, which you don't get to see that. It doesn't look good. <laughs> uh, but... That's all right. You know, we got some shelving units. We're still going to order and get that taken care of. Look, guys, this is what it takes to make the magic happen around here, right? And uh, hopefully you'll see us use that other set that you guys saw at the very beginning more often. And you know what? Thank you for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rebel Jets from Nintendo Prime. Be sure to check out Flexi Spot and our giveaway down in the pinned comment and in the description, right? Both? Yeah, both, Nate. Thank you guys for being here. We'll catch you in that next video.